My name is Mithilesh Kumar Das. I am cardiac electrophysiologist. I am associate professor of uh, medicine and I am chief of cardiac electrophysiology at VA Medical Center, Indianapolis. And I'm also faculty at Indiana University. This is a very important question of my life. In fact, uh, when I was a medical student, I saw a sudden cardiac death in a soccer field. We call it football field in India. And we couldn't figure out, 18 year old kid just passed out there and within a few minutes he was pronounced dead. So when I started my medicine rotations, I wanted to go to the CCU wards and saw the monitors and sometimes I couldn't figure out why the P waves are dropping and why the QRS is doing some bizarre things. So when I started my, my residency, I really f tried to focus in cardiology. I finished my basic training in India and came here to New York City. There I did my residency and did my fellowship in New York Hospital uh, Cornell Medical Center in downtown Manhattan. This was one of the excellent centers for, uh, for studying cardiac electrophysiology. The main Dr. Zeiss book is a very a comprehensive book and it is very detailed and it covers the whole spectrum of cardiac electrophysiology. And the book is focused more on basic science and the clinical aspect of electrophysiology. What we thought that if we put an EKG together, which covers each and every clinical chapters of the book, that will be very useful. Because none of the cardiac electrophysiology book show many EKGs. And in fact, when you see a patient in your outpatient clinic or in the hospital, you have to see EKG first before you start thinking about any cardiac arrhythmias. So I think EKG is the first step to further diagnosis or for proceeding to the, to the diagnosis of any cardiac arrhythmias. So I thought this book will really be very, uh, will be a very fit companion book uh, f uh, for the main book. I talked to my first year, second year, third year fellows and I asked them what really bothers them most when they see an EKG, they said arrhythmias. So we have started this book thinking in mind that a third year resident or second year resident can also utilize this book to go over the basic cardiac arrhythmias and basic principles of cardiac arrhythmias. But this will be more useful for cardi cardiology fellows, such as first year fellows who just started cardiology. And also this is the key book I think for the cardiac electrophysiology fellows because uh, it covers entire spectrum of uh, EKGs pertinent to cardiac electrophysiology. And uh, I think this will be also very useful for clinical cardiac electrophysiologist. Well, I really thank Elsevier for giving us this opportunity to write a book. And I think the main, main impetus was that I, it was my passion to write a book which we thought is unique because it covers the whole spectrum of EP or electrophysiology plus this is all real cases which were most of them were proven in EP lab and uh, I thought this is very useful book and really I really learned a lot when I was writing it and I had a very good feedback from Elsevier about the quality of uh, EKGs to provide and what is important for the, the viewers uh, or readers.